Hi guys, it's Michaela and welcome back to my channel and welcome to a new kind of video, at least to my channel. I'm going to be ranking everything from the brand Anastasia Beverly Hills from least to worst. I kind of, I've got um, some brands in my collections that I do own a lot of and I just kind of want to rank. Maybe you're thinking of something from this particular brand you're not quite too sure about. Some of these items are discontinued but I do own them so I do want to share them. Um, but um, let me know what kind of brands you want to see in the future, but for today I'm going to start with ABH. I own 11 items from ABH, so uh, starting with number 11, it is the Bullet Lipsticks. Now these I found at TJ Maxx a while ago, but I believe the shades are still available. I've got the shades Orchid, Stargazer, Cotton Candy, and Plumera. And it's not that I dislike these, I actually really do like them, they're very bold. However, they are very drying on the lips and sometimes they get a little bit too bold if I'm not wearing them right. For the most part, I actually do like everything I own from ABH, but these are not my favorite formula. I've tried more that I like better. And um, these are just a little too drying for my taste. Coming in at number 10 is the Anastasia Lip Gloss. I have the shade Warm Bronze. Now, I did have another shade that expired that I decluttered, but I really love this shade in particular because it go it's like a glossy lip stain. It goes on on the lips and then it leaves just a nice, um, like, deep brown, just kind of stain on the lips. And I absolutely love it. I love what it does and I love the lasting power. It really does act like a stain, but it's not drying to the lips. But number 10, just because I've got, again, honestly, this is a, one of my favorite brands. And I just got a lot of good things that I like from them. Coming in at number nine is the Anastasia Riviera palette. Now this is discontinued. When I first started doing videos, this was one of the first palettes I bought to review. And I really like it. The color story is really fun. Um, I just, it's just not something I reach for too, too often, but I love the shimmers. I love the mattes. Again, just the color story is not something I'm super inspired by. And then at number eight is the Anastasia Amrizi palette. Now this packaging is my favorite out of all the palettes of hers that I own. Again, uh, the color story is the biggest reason why this palette is ranking so low is because you get like two transition shades that are the same tone. I wish at least one of them would have been more of a neutral brown so that I could create a little bit more variety of looks and I don't have to worry about the same tone. Otherwise, I actually really do like this palette. Number seven is their Dip Proud Dip brow pomade and I really do like this. I've actually been getting into brow pomades lately. Um, my biggest thing is it, it does take a little bit of time. It's not just a quick draw on the brows, fill in the brows and be done. It does take a little bit of a process and that for me I just don't like dealing with my brows so that's why it's ranking as low as it does. And following up at that number six is the brow freeze. Again, I don't like having to dip a brush in and stick my brows into place. I would rather just use something I can pull out in a tube and just stick onto my brows. But again, I still like both of these products. And then at number seven, and this is actually ranked in my top five bronzers, but it's the Anastasia Cream Bronzer. Again, I like it, and the more that I use it, and it is still a favorite bronzer of mine, the tone is just a little bit too orangey, not quite cool enough for me. But again, I love it. And at number four, I've got the Iced Out Highlighter. A lot of people didn't like this. This is my all-time favorite highlighter. I love it, I adore it. Every chance I get, I wear it, and it's just so stunning and so beautiful. Number three is the Noramina palette, and again, I love it. I love the color story. See, this shade here is the shade I wish was on in the Amrizi palette. I love the pinks. I love the purples. I love, it's, it's a springy palette, so I do love it for this time of the year, but I love that I can get the neutrals with the pops of color, and I love that there's variety in the tones of the neutrals, and that's exactly if the Amrizi palette had this as neutrals, I would have ranked it higher. And number two is the Soft Glam Palette. Again, another beautiful palette. Uh, very good with like the tones, the neutrals. They're a little bit more orange and a little bit more warm, but there's variety in them. And then the pops of shimmer are just so stunning on the eyes. The shimmers are so soft and so buttery. And I, again, I just love it. And then last but not least, and my number one product from Anastasia, is their dewy foundation. That's the luminous foundation. I love this stuff. My skin does run dry, so it does add like a healthy glow to the foundation. It is a more full coverage foundation. I think this was also in my top five foundations. I believe I'd have to go back and check out the video. 
but I love this. This was another boxy charm find, but when this launched a few years ago, I wanted it. It was on my wish list for so long, and when I found out that it was my choice for the boxy charm that month, I was all over it. I'm so glad I have this. I'm so excited that it's in my collection, and this is just such a good product. So, this is everything ranked from Anastasia. Again, let me know what you want to see ranked next. I do plan on going through the brands that I have a lot of stuff from and ranking them, but just let me know what kind of brands you'd like to see next so I can prioritize those a little bit. And with that, thank you for watching this video. If you are new here, my name is Michaela. I do videos focusing on beauty and lifestyle. And my goal on this platform is to share my love for beauty as well as my love for Jesus Christ as my Lord and Savior. And um, I'm also pregnant, so I plan on, I've got um, pregnancy updates coming, pregnancy videos. I have, I will go ahead and link both my announcement and my first trimester recap down below if you are interested in watching those. And with that, I will see you in the next one. Bye guys.